Welcome back, internet friends, to the show that never ends. It's Let's Play Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I'm your old friend, Kefka Floyd. We're here to bring you the next episode, where we infiltrate the Wolfberg Church. Let's listen in. Well, what's happening? Uh, a moment, please, my director. Is it working? Please, be patient. We are operating under very difficult conditions here. Enough of your stalling! Tell me yes or no, will it work? Frau von Pilo, how many times do I have to remind you? This is a very complex and delicate operation. It cannot be hurried. We are not uh, filling teeth here. Don't take that patronizing tone with me. Just a moment. Just a moment. What? What? Yeah, yeah. The extraction process is beginning. It is only a matter of time now. Excellent. That's bad news, I think. As you can see, that's Dr. Zemf and Helga von Bülow. We're going to be running into them shortly. But the first thing we need to do is get through the church. Poor Joseph. Look at him. Torn to shreds. To shreds, you say? What could have done that? Nothing Take this. Three down and only one elite guard left. That's right, that's one of the Nazi death babes. Helga von Bülow's elite guard. They use silent stens, they're very deadly, and they're also very pretty. Unfortunately, remember how I was talking earlier about how I'm not in the business of, you know, hurting women? These are the women you need to shoot, otherwise they'll shoot you first. The sten will be very helpful here. Taking out this fellow, without alerting the nearby guards. With him down, we're going to run into our first real group of elite guard. Hello. What's this? Hmm. Looks like a dead zombie. He can't do much, right? Ugh. Take that back. Alright. Go up here, there'll probably be three or four elite guard. Get ready, you say. Get ready for this. About a grenade in the face. One thing that about them is that even though their stens are silenced, you can hear the little pitter patter of their high heels as they walk around. So they're not totally silent. But they do suffer the same problems from the sten that you do. So for instance, if they keep shooting at you and overheat, they won't have the opportunity to shoot back. So it's good to draw their fire, wait for them to overheat, and then run in and get them. They are much smarter than your standard Nazi. They'll do dirty tricks like hiding behind corners, throwing grenades from high points, other generally nasty things. So we're going to have to take down every single one of these elite guard before we can do anything at all. And in this church, there's a lot of them. As you can see that little game saved right there is just a little quick save. Move it, Zem! Your orders, my noble Fjord. Deploy the remaining elite guard. Oh, jeez. We're going to have to deal with even more of them. So right now we're going to get in here, which is the main chamber of the church, which has even more elite guard, plus plenty of spots for them to take cover. Fortunately, they're not going to come from behind here. So we have the ability to kind of use this little alcove as a little hiding hole regrouping area. They will run from behind these various posts to try to get you. These guys are very proactive. They will hide and wait for you to come get them, or they will simply run in and use cover to their advantage while trying to shoot you. They are quite difficult to kill and will kill you very quickly since they have very good accuracy. Who says brains can't and brawn can't come in a good looking package? With her down, oh, we've still got one left I can hear her somewhere. Now, one thing that gets me in trouble in this level and what got me in quite a bit of trouble recording it is that the elite guard do not reward the conservative. You kind of need to keep moving, keep in a different location, 
because as soon as they get you into their sights, they'll be able to shoot a good amount of bullets, and since there's no armor down here, you're pretty much going to lose your health very quickly. There are a decent amount of health packs hanging around, though. I think down here, we skipped it earlier, but we can go get it now. It's a large health bag. One thing to know is that in the different difficulties, health bags give you different amounts of health. Medium difficulty, large health, gives you 30 health. But in, in uh, Death Incarnate, it will give you 50 health. Obviously, because you take more damage, better off to give you more health when you pick up a health pickup. So we have to go through here and make our way up to the altar. There's going to be a couple of elite guard here. One's going to be down here in the bottom part. She's actually pretty easy to get rid of. But she's going to have a partner upstairs that's much harder to get rid of. It's actually quite troublesome. Because what she'll start doing is throwing grenades at you. Which makes it very difficult to kill her. There is a opening up there at the top. But trying to throw a grenade into that opening is very difficult. So my plan is to throw the grenade up here and use the splash damage to kill her. Oh, she's kind of floating in the middle of the air there, isn't she? Anyway, what's this? Looks like a clipboard. Oh, it looks like Helga is going to be telling somebody good news. Well, guess what? It's not going to be good news for her when I go and kick her ass. Alright, so in this upper level, we've got plenty of elite guard to worry about. Looks like we took care of her, and we're probably going to have three or four more. Yeah. Now, one thing that they do is they they have a kind of evasion move where they can spin around, do somersaults, and things like that. Which is a move you don't have. So they're very good at making sure you can't hit them. Let's see. We're going to see another trick of theirs here. They're not going to come after me. They're going to play the waiting game. And when you open this door over here, you're going to see they're going to be hiding in this corner. It's very tricky. Now we got her out of the way, we're going to go get a secret. The secret's over on this alcove over here. We open this door, and we're going to get the crystal skull. Somebody should tell Indiana Jones that's where it's hiding. Alright, with that out of the way, we're actually making pretty good progress in this level, all things considered. Now, the Elite Guard are based on earlier Wolfenstein enemies. There are actually Elite Guards in Wolfenstein 3D, except those Elite Guards were men. And here, I guess they decided they wanted to kick it up a notch and make them all chicks. They probably wanted that sex appeal sort of thing that was going on in the early 2000s. Having those sexy evil babes sold games, I guess. Who would have thunk? Of course, the Elite Guards do not make very many appearances in this game. Once you get past this level, that's basically it until, I think, the end of the game. They wind up being replaced with even more annoying and deadly enemies, which we'll start seeing in the next episode of Return to Castle. Well, not my episode, but the game is organized into six episodes. And I believe in episode three, we'll start seeing a more common, very annoying enemy, the Black Guard. Alright, this room here can be very troublesome because there's lots of crates and stuff for them to hide behind. And cover for them is good and bad for you. Oh, it's also very dark. Very difficult to see exactly where these guys are. Namely, because black in this environment is pretty good camouflage. One thing else is that they take more bullets to kill than a normal Nazi, even though they don't appear to be wearing any body armor. Oh, maybe something else is absorbing all those bullets. Okay, looks like we got a helmet and a health bag that simply doesn't want to pick up, I guess. And some leftover bullets, and that's it for this level. In the next level, we're going to be facing our very first boss in the game. And since it's not a very long or difficult fight, you're going to see it in this video. That's it for the church. Yes, it did in fact take me 14 attempts. That out of the way, it's time to go to the next part. The defiled church. Not just a normal church, but a defiled one. In this case, we're going to have to take care of a very nasty enemy. What 
are you planning now? I'm not planning anything. I'm doing it. I'm getting that dagger. No, you can't do that. You'll break the inner seal. I'm prepared to take that risk. You're prepared? Are you completely mad? Do you realize what will be unleashed? It will make all the rest of this seem like a minor annoyance. Ha! I don't care. I've waited my whole life for an opportunity like this. I'm not turning back now for some cowering bookworm in his pointless fears. Frau von Bülow, I warn you. If you persist in this madness, I will be forced to report your conduct to the SS High Court of Inquiry. Get out of my way, Zemf! Your feeble threats won't stop me. Please, come to your senses. Stop this madness before it is too late. This is your last warning. No, you can't. At last. Don't do it, Helga. Don't do it. So you should have listened to the bookworm. He was right. Wonder what that means, though. I don't like the sound of that. I also see a large cache of health and bullets, which means only one thing: a boss fight. Yay! It's our very first boss fight in the game. And once we get out of here, we'll be able to go and see it. Now up here is the defiled church it was talking about. Why is it defiled? You say? Because there's zombies, ghouls, and ghosts, undead, all over the place. At least, they'll be here any minute now. Like them. First, we'll take care of these lackeys. They are no real threat, obviously. They're just plain old zombies. So we should just get rid of them so they can't take any more health and stuff away from us. Come on. Oh. Whoa. What was that? Whoa, yeah, that big guy. That's the boss. Believe it or not, you I, I know what you might be thinking. That big, ugly-looking boss is Helga. It is, in fact, not Helga. It is called Ulrich. Apparently some kind of mythical beast, zombie, undead thing. I'm not quite sure. I think it's on Wikipedia somewhere. Anyway, what happens is that most people think that Helga turns into Ulrich, but that's not quite true. You'll see later on that Helga is in fact just horribly, horribly mutilated. Ulrich killed her, of course. Picking up the dagger that she was talking about unleashed Ulrich. And if it wasn't for BJ, Ulrich could be causing a lot of damage. He has a lot of hit points, but he's also very dumb. What we're doing here is just using our heavy hitting Thompson to take care of him, at least whittle down most of his health. If you stand around here, Ulrich will throw his skulls and generally run after you and hit you. But here's the thing, if you jump back in this area over here, he sort of forgets where you are and just wanders back into the middle of the arena. Kind of a moron. You know, then you could say it's cheesing it, but you know what? It say it's a pretty good way of beating him, otherwise you'd just be getting those zombie flying ghost skulls in your face all day. So we'll just keep pumping lead in them, running away and repeating. This is the best strategy for Ulrich. He'll just take him and... Oh! Looks like he's dead. Yep, that explosion means he's dead. But we've still got a couple zombies to take care of. Probably three or four zombies. Good thing too, because we won't be seeing the zombies for a while after this level. So after we kill them, we'll be on to more pleasant surroundings. I will not... Oh, I will not be missing those, uh, ooh, noises that they make, though. Let's see, there's... Oh, there he is. Come on. The other thing, too, is in the next level, we're going to wind up losing all of the weapons that we've acquired already, so there's nothing wrong with using up all of our ammo here. That gate's open, and we can see Helga von Bülow's decapitated body down there. And we can go pick up the Thule Dagger by ourselves. It's like BJ, by being patient, reap the spoils of war. Mother hand to Eagle's Nest. Mother hand to Eagle's Nest. Come in, Eagle's Nest. This is Eagle. 
Nicholas Ness. We read you about it. What is your status? Status is mission accomplished. We are inbound. Well done, Mother Hen. What is the condition of your passenger? All things considered, the passenger is doing fine. Repeat, the passenger is doing fine. Mother Hen out. Indeed, we're doing just fine. And with that, we've just defeated the first boss and completed the first set of episodes of Let's Play Return to Castle Wolfenstein. In the next episode of Let's Play Return to Castle Wolfenstein, we'll be off to a completely different area with new weapons, new baddies, and forced stealth stages. Boo! See you next time!